You see you, Babsy? <laughs> you could block me any day. Hey, block me right there. Block me right here. Block me right here. Babsy block me every day. Yo, Babsy block <laughs> every day. Hey, what's up, everybody? Back from Jamaica. I had a blast while I was down there, but I'm really depressed about this, like, minus 4,000 weather that I'm here dealing with. Anyhow, you know what? I had to do this video, and this is the first video of many, because every time I travel, I get the same amount of questions from people. What do you eat when you go to these places? What do you do? What is this? Where do you stay? What about... So I said I'm going to do these mini reviews when I go traveling. So Jamaica, Kingston, you happen to be the first... For the new year, happy new year everybody, of my reviews of what to do when you're in Kingston, Jamaica, when it comes to food especially. But other things, you know, some um, some do's and don'ts. So, you know, I went to Jamaica for Christmas. I went for Sting, I went for GT Taylor Extravaganza, and I went for um, the Stone Love Anniversary event. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit later because I really want to focus on the review aspect of things. When you get to Jamaica, you should really go to Digicel and get a SIM card from them. A local SIM card from Digicel is like 500 Jamaican dollars, which is $5 US. I know a lot of you are like, oh, but I get a package for roaming and blah, blah, blah. It is not cheaper trust me I've traveled enough to know that when these people hit you with them roaming charges they go lick out your eye so you might as well go and get a $5 sim card and then you can get this package from Digicel where you get like a thousand overseas minutes and it's like a thousand Jamaican dollars which is like 10 bucks so really and truly just save your money save your headache just get a Digicel sim I don't deal with Lyme in Jamaica there's a lot of reasons, you know, what, back and all, blah, blah. This and the blog's really not for that. Just stick to Digicel. It will work in an unlocked phone, and you're going to have an easy time. You hear what I tell you? Good. So, whenever I land in Jamaica, I always have to get food from this particular place first. I don't care what's going on, what's happening. I need to go to Andre's, located in Elsha Beach. Now, Elsha, okay? This is where the controversy comes in. The beach is actually spelled Hellshire, but the Jamaicans call it Elsha. Cause you know you West Indians is called Film Flim. So don't ask me why it get called Elsha, but that's the name of the beach. But it's called Hellshire if you're looking at the people sign Hellshire. Anyhow, enough with that. When you get there, you have to go and pay $2.50 um, US, which is basically $2.50 Jamaican. And you get this wristband and you need to go in. And I like paying for things a little bit more than just go with the free stuff because when you pay, sometimes you eliminate the riffraff. Because everywhere you go, there's this riffraff that always want to be free. So pay the dollar $2.50 and you will eliminate the drama. You go in there now and there's this hut and it's called Andre's. Andre's is like the 11 out of 10 food place for me because you know me I'm very picky and I will curse you very fast but Andre's has the best garlic lobster in the entire world as soon as I get there I have to order it I also do order a snapper normally fried I always order a smaller fish because for some reason the when they dust it up with whatever they have the cornmeal and ting and then they fry it it is amazing so Andre's is always where I go as no matter what's going on in Jamaica I have to go it's import more so when you drive by the you can hail up vibes cartel and popcorn and all them gaza people you understand but realistically if you're a person that likes the hilton caviar and you know cappuccino don't go about there because you can be eating with plastic fork and styrofoam plate but the food is exceptional also they gave me a souvenir which i was very happy about i don't even know what this is called I know the Jamaicans will come and tell me, it's called this, your blood clot tea, that, because you know the Jamaican trollers on YouTube are vicious. But, yeah, I got this, and if you can see, it's already been used a bit, because my mom's throwing it on rice, she's throwing it on everything, oh, this thing tastes so raw, so good, oh, I like this here, it got some kick in it. Yeah, anyhow, one thing I will tell you about this Elsha Beach, people, do not play the ass when you go down in Jamaica, feel that you're some big lifeguard, and you could swim, and you're watching Australians in the Olympics, and feel you're a big swimmer. You see that beach out there called Elsha? Do not go about there in that water about there. You gonna get fuck up. Because that is a different kind of water. I could swim, and I can swim exceptionally well. Train for lifeguard and all that thing there. I ain't going in there. I telling you that right now, I might wet my foot. But if you feel like guy is swimming in that, I don't know. That water there look very different. It's ignorant as cunt. And the waves just be hitting like sober swing bats. You understand what I'm saying? Keep from boat there. 
Speaking about sobers, they got a fella named Courtney Walsh. Courtney Walsh is an ex cricketer, right? He got a restaurant in Kingston, in the new Kingston Plaza. It is called Cuddy's. Now it's a sports bar. It's not really a restaurant, but I think it's a restaurant because the food is exceptionally amazing. When I went there, I, again, amazing customer service as like Andre's. Andre's people is like family run, very nice. Cuddy's is more of a restaurant type thing, but the people are exceptionally nice as well. When I went there, I had the three seafood pasta. So it was shrimp, scallops, and fish. And oh my gosh, it was amazing. And then for an appetizer, I had corn soup because the red pea soup got in pigtail. Hear what I tell you? So Rastas like me don't really eat pigtail. Good. So I got the corn soup and I'll tell you right now. That corn soup, top three corn soups in the world is in Cuddy's in New Kingston Plaza. Okay? I'm telling you that. It was so amazing. I said I have to shake this chef's hand. When the chef came out, it was a Trinidadian person. So you know Trinidad is master this corn soup thing. But anyhow, yeah, it's selling in Jamaica. Friday night corn soup is in Cuddy's. Jamaicans, non-Jamaicans when you're visiting, go to Cuddy's in New Kingston Plaza and get a corn soup. Tell them Babsy, send ya. Hear what I tell you? Next stop, Thursday nights in White Bones. White, White Bones is located on um Mannings Hill Road and they have all you can eat crab in the um in White Bones on Thursday nights and it's about 2000 Jamaican dollars which is like 20 US not expensive at all like Red Lobster has the same kind of pricing and they have amazing customer service. It was raining the night that I got there. The man came to the car with the umbrella. Cause you know you gotta protect the Remy. And he walked me in. It was just like amazing. I felt like I, I felt like I should be singing umbrella like Rihanna because I felt like a, a star the way they treated me that night. I tell ya, the bar is really, really nice. The food is amazing. So the all you can eat crab, I had the fried crab, the garlic crab the curry crab and then they have a crab that's called hot and spicy now listen to me good people again advisory 101 the water one thing next thing in jamaica their pepper do not play the ass that you some pepper sauce boss where you come from and go and eat anything called spicy in jamaica unless you built for that you see my nose i ain't got no hair in it because the hot and spicy crab burn out the nose hairs i ain't lying I don't know what the hell pepper that's come out of Jamaica, what them just be doing to it. I don't know if the pepper just dropped the concrete block on the head and brought out. But this pepper does got a different kick in it. It will kill fucking you. Don't go down there and play cute. You will get lick up. So, those are the places that I go to eat. That's what I had. Thursday nights, white bones. Fridays, cuddies. And any days at Andre's and Hellshire Beach customer service is amazing in all of them. Um, you know me, I love people that are really, really, really nice, and I pay. I, I work hard for my money, and I want to go places that people respect me and treat me like I'm a real person and not like a dog. Honorable mention to Island Grill because for a fast food restaurant, they really have a decent soup. The red pea soup is really good. There ain't no pigtail in it, and you know what? Again, customer service really, really good. Um, I just the New Kingston location one is the one I went to and honestly I, I really think Island Grill is, is really good because when I think fast food I think McDonald's and to get a red pea soup tasting like that at Island Grill trust me I'm, I'm impressed um some places now that you really don't want to go around budget car rental in Jamaica keep from round them people especially if you work hard for your money because they don't have anything named customer service at budget especially the one in Norman Manley Airport I get there the day three days past I ain't getting a car yet I reserved my car a month in advance they don't know where my car is they don't know nothing they just like oh we don't know we don't know they didn't even say oh here's a discount here's this but they didn't know that I gotta come make a video and blister their ass oh! Do not rent a car from Budget Car Rental. The reason I went to them is because I got a pass, like a, a discount code to try them out. I always use Avis, always use Island Car Rental. Always use Avis and Island Car Rental when you get to Jamaica. When you see Budget, pelt a big rock in a blasted window because they're full of shit. Also, Lime, as I said, when I have my Lime phone, like, it doesn't work here, doesn't work there, calls disconnecting, blah, blah, blah. Stick with the Giselle because you know what? They know what they're doing. So there you have it. You know what? Nothing big to worry about when you get to Jamaica. All I can tell you is this. 
If you hear that they're killing people and whatever, they're killing people everywhere. The, the world angry. And they ain't no more angry in Jamaica than they are in Toronto or New York. Just use your head when you travel. If you're going to go out, roll with somebody that you know. If you don't know anybody in Jamaica, then you know what? Don't go in Tivoli in the middle of the night and go knock on this door. Yo, um, um, I want to know where Hellshire Beach is. Yeah, just use your brain because when I go to New York, I can't go in Bed-Stuy at certain times of the night. So just think of it like you have to have common sense. And if you know that you lack common sense, then, then just don't go to Jamaica. It's not the place for you because you have to think about what you're doing and you have to have some kind of sense. I want to give a big shout out to Fly Jamaica. Fly Jamaica has some flights going down to Jamaica now. They are going from New York. They're going from Toronto. Again, customer service driven, oriented airline that care about the people fly jamaica has some flights this week actually to rebel salute if you want to go there check this email address right here at the bottom and give them a shout out say babsy send me to go and check out the flights because they got some really good packages for jamaica this week to go to rebel salute my brethren tony rebel big them up dread and dread uh queen ifrika a love wanna and you know what before I go, Jamaica Tourism Board, you need to give me some money for this video here. Because you understand what I said? I now big up your island. Anyhow, people are gone. Small islanders, check out Jamaica. Very nice place. Keep from around the people water and keep from around the people pepper are gone. Bye.